stop the negatives deteriorating further to save what we have. We've already lost a heck of a lot. There are almost one and a half million photos and negatives slowly disintegrating in the Nelson Museum. A hundred volunteers are fighting a losing battle to save them. It's not just the old photographs which are disintegrating. Those produced from 1910 are also self-destructing. They're producing nitric acid which is etching the image and also causing a health hazard for those trying to work with them. There was two people ended up in hospital um, because of the fumes that were coming off the negatives. We're the only nation in the world to have a photographic record like this of our colonisation. The only nation to be settled just after photography became widely used. With this collection we can study how a small colony set itself up, um, the hopes and aspirations of those early settlers and how it then turned into the Pacific nation that it is today. 60,000 dollars a year is needed to save these images of our heritage, plus a cool store and computer. But unless government or big business come up with the money, most of it will be lost within five years. Alana James, One Network News. There's new hope for infertile men who want to be fathers. Advances in a technique called microinjection have made it possible for a single sperm to be injected directly into an egg. And that means even men who've had vasectomies may be able to father children. For this woman, a routine ultrasound scan shows a miracle. She's 15 weeks pregnant, but she thought it could never happen because surgery to reverse her husband's vasectomy had failed. But doctors have found a way to make her pregnant. Many men are infertile either because the vas deferens, which connects the testis to the penis, has been cut irreversibly in a vasectomy, or because they're born without one. In effect, the sperm are trapped in the testis. The first step in the new procedure is to remove eggs from the woman under anaesthetic, just like normal test tube treatment. The eggs are healthy. The problem is getting sperm that can fertilize them. Now doctors have, for the first time, taken sperm directly from the testis. They then use a fine tube to suck up the most active sperm and inject them into the fertile egg. This injection technique is proving successful with a 40% pregnancy rate. Roughly 35 to 40% is a success rate in greater than natural conception, which of course is 25% for a woman per natural menstrual cycle at the age of 